What's up guys, I've got the new iPhone X. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you guys Face ID. Because uh, the new phone, if you don't know, it doesn't actually have a home button. I was technically, uh, the last iPhone didn't either. Uh, it was just like the, the fake button, it didn't actually click. But this one, it doesn't have a button at all. There's no spot to click your thumb. Uh, so what do you do to unlock it? You use Face ID. So there's no Touch ID, no more fingerprint scanning. Uh, it's literally, it reads your face, unlocks your phone, and then you can swipe it up. It's kind of crazy. So in this video, we're going to play around with it, see how it works, and uh, try to unlock our phone scanning our face. It's already failed. No, I'm just kidding. That was that's the swipe. Uh, I don't know how I like that. No home button. It's going to take some getting used to for sure. So this is supposed to be really secure, and uh, if you haven't watched the videos of it, people have already put this to the test. Oh, I was actually, I wasn't even trying to look at it and it just did it, that's crazy. My, m most of my face is even behind the camera. They've tried everything. They tried making a fake mask of somebody's face uh, and, and trying to scan that, holding up pictures, uh, holding up another picture of you on someone else's phone. Yeah, none of them work. Uh, so Face ID, it seems to be pretty secure. The only way people have got by it is by having twins, yes. If you're a twin, uh, the iPhone X is not for you. They, Apple hates you, no, I'm just kidding. But your brother or sister can uh, definitely unlock your phone. <laughs> so yeah, when you're not looking at it, well, you can see, the, oh, that's crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera or in the video, but it's showing, I was about to say, the IR sensor. It actually has an IR camera built into there, so it's shooting out an IR-like scan of your face along with an actual scan, and they're like tracking light and depth and everything. It's, it's pretty, pretty advanced and crazy, and that's why it's really hard to trick this. Uh, yeah, when you're when you're not uh, looking at your phone, that's what it looks like. It's showing you the lock, and as soon as you look at it, which I just did, uh, it lets you unlock it, which means swiping up from the bottom. So let me do that again. Look at my phone, and you don't have to press the button. It, you, it'll just like auto wake when you look at it. And there you go, that's how you get in the phone. What I don't like about that is I feel like it's delayed. Like watch this, okay. Say my phone is sitting there, I'm gonna pick it up, and that, that was just too, Ugh, and I keep missing uh, the little, like you have to go all the way down from the bottom of the screen. I keep missing that. I don't like the delay. Now that's something they probably will get faster at with software updates, or maybe just bog down the phone and get it slower. Hopefully it'll get faster. I like it to be really snappy. I think the face tracking, that is definitely really snappy, but I just don't like that. I wish, uh, maybe I, in settings I can mess with this, uh, but I want it to completely unlock uh, when my face looks at it. So this would be a good time to show you how to set up Face ID. I'm gonna go ahead and reset mine, and we're gonna set it up now. Okay, so it says first position your face uh, in the camera frame and then move your head in a circle to show all the angles of your face. So get started. Now what it wants me to do, I've gotta like turn it this way. So I've gotta have my face in it. It looks like the lighting is horrible, but it basically wants me to roll my face like that. And did you see that? It literally did a whole tracking of my face. So first, uh, face ID scan complete. Now let's reposition it again. I'm gonna be interested to see how well it does with this lighting because it looks like the lighting on my left side of my face is really bad. All right, face ID is set up. Now let's go straight uh, and give it a try. Now I have to put in a passcode. All right, so I set up the passcode. For some reason, it wouldn't let me do anything less than six, even though a second ago it was letting me do uh, four pin passcode, but whatever, we're gonna leave it for that right now. I even set it as just one, 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 one and it told me that was too easy of a password. All right, the face ID is set up, so let's go back to the lock screen and let's try this out. All right, so we're picking up our phone, and there we go, so it's unlocked. This is the period I hate, I think. That's what bothers me. I wish it would be like quick and instant. Like if I'm showing you my face and you're scanning my face, like why do I still need to swipe up? Can't we just take that away? All right, now to give you guys a better idea of how fast this is working, I'm gonna try to show you, uh, look at, it already unlocked. I'm gonna try to look away from the thing and you'll be able to see me looking away and you're gonna see when this unlocks here. Here we go, three, two, that's crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, but on my camera I can just see that IR sensor like just sending out pulses it looks like. All right, so I turned and it unlocked. That was, that was pretty quick. Okay, let's try it one more time. Here we go. All right, not locked and looking at it. Ooh, what was that? It like vibrated like it was in, there was an error. Like you did a touch ID scanner on. God, see, that's just not fast. And I, I feel like I'm already like, just cause I'm doing face ID, I wanna just hold it right there and it just automatically unlock. Okay, that's another thing too, is you, I guess, 
Look at me, I'm making a making a mess here. By the way, shout out to my amazing iPhone stand there. You can also like lift it up and swipe straight up from the top and then it's gonna scan your face kinda as you're doing it. So there you go. I didn't even realize that. That makes it a little bit faster. So yeah, you see what I'm talking about? Like you, you can already just lift it up and swipe as you're doing it and it's already gonna like scan your face. That was a little slow because I was looking at the camera, but yeah, so that's pretty quick. That makes it a little faster. All right, all right. I might be able to get used to that. Now, even in low light, uh, this is supposed to work pretty good uh, because again, it has an IR camera. It's infrared. It's like blasting out stuff that doesn't, it doesn't matter about darkness, I, I guess. I don't know. I actually don't know the technical specifications of that, but it's supposed to work in the dark. So we're going to try it out. I'm, it's actually getting dark outside. So let's head outside and then I'll come back in the room and we'll do it in pitch dark. Let's go. Putting on a hoodie before I go outside though because it's, it's a little chilly outside now. New hoodies up at nosleepteam.com. Check them out. Tie-dye skateboard with tie-dye, tie-dye uh, shoestrings, and they got metal tips on them. Look at that. Nice quality. This is the best hoodie ever. I love it. All right, let's go test face ID outside. All right, so it's still, it's a little daylight outside, but all right, guys, here we go. Let's test this out. Boom, all right, so I mean, it's not dark outside, but it's getting there, like the lighting's not that good. It's, and by the way, like I said, as soon as you see the unlock come up, that's when it's when it's good. The camera's like a little bit in front of my face and I have my hood up, so even with my hood, uh, it's still unlocking me. So it, it's, it's, I'm saying it's doing a pretty good job and it's really quick too. I just gotta get used to the whole thing of swiping and just not thinking about the face, just make sure I'm looking at it. You do have to have your eyes open, you do have to be looking at it, so that's the thing. Like somebody couldn't just hold this up in front of your face while you're sleeping and unlock your phone. You have to have your eyes open. But yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, now let's go into the spooky darkness and try it. I definitely like this better than Touch ID. I hated Touch ID. It never worked for me. It always messed up, and it was just more annoying than anything. That's just my opinion, though. Which one do you guys like, Touch ID or Face ID? I think I like Face ID. All right, we are in, not pitch darkness. We got a little bit of window light, but oh, that's the wrong phone. Here we go. All right, let's try this out. Dang, look at that, that was quick too. See, it's cause that red pulse right there, that's what's doing it, I think. I think that's the main thing that lets it work in the night. That's so quick, I even had it away from my face. I'm gonna try to hold it away from my face a little bit this time. That's pretty quick, dang. All right, that's, now it's doing something weird. All right, now complete darkness. We're going to the bathroom. As dark as it gets in the house. Okay, all right, I know you can't see anything, but I'm gonna show you, well, there's the phone. Uh, I'm gonna look at it. Oh crap, I'm not even trying to. That was so quick. All right, hopefully you can see this. I, I mean, obviously you can't see me looking at it, but I'm gonna count down on three. Here we go, three, two, one. All right, that is pretty quick. I've still got my hood on. I'm in pitch dark, and you saw that. It just unlocked my phone. All right, I'm scared I'm gonna drop it in the toilet or something. All right, so there it is, the Face ID demo uh, on the iPhone X. iPhone. T I'm gonna call it the iPhone X. That's what I'm gonna say from here on out, so don't hate me. All right, so there it is, Face ID. Uh, I would say it works pretty good. What do you guys think? Is it good, is it bad? Uh, leave a comment down below, and then also let me know, do you like Face ID or Touch ID better? Personally, I like Face ID. Is it a reason for me to go get the iPhone X? No, I wouldn't say it is, because I would rather have the older phone have a physical button and not even have Touch ID turned on. I like it to be quick. I don't wanna wait half a second. Even though, I don't know, maybe it'll get faster with software updates. Uh, I'm just being harsh right now. It's just, it just like adds something that like you don't really need. I may just be like paying attention and like thinking about it too much too and once I'm using it like a regular phone uh, and not w watching the Face ID feature, it'll just become normal. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos on the iPhone X uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.